Well, this is five year old Lillian Blackman. She died just a couple weeks ago from brain cancer. And Lillian attended News Charter School, which dedicated tonight's basketball game to her and her family. WR's Leslie Moreno was at the game tonight as the community came together to shower this little girl's family with love and support. I know it was an emotional evening, Leslie. <laughs> Guys, Lillian was just five years old when she passed away. She had a twin sister who she loved very much. The superintendent here says this was all so unexpected. Five-year-old Lillian lit up every room. And tonight the school did just that for her and her family. A sea of yellow represents Lillian in her battle with brain cancer. She was the bubbliest cutest child. She was diagnosed in April. Students, clubs and athletes supported Lillian, her twin sister and their family every step of the way. And that's just what we do. That's just who we are. It is just what we do. When one of our family members needs something, we're going to step up and we're going to do whatever we can to make it happen. Lillian passed away on November 9th. The co-athletic director says Lillian's battle brought everyone together. I think just that the family saw that we were all all together to support them was a big deal. And just like Dr. Blackwell talked about, that this has really unified the campus here and the community here, uh, K-12. And then it's not only affected our athletes, but it's affected like our entire school. At tonight's homecoming game, the school presented the family with a ceremony and crowned her twin sister homecoming princess. She is doing well, um, as well as can be expected when you have your your twin who has been with you since your first breath um, to go away. It's been a bit difficult. And as with any family who loses a child, you know, the grief is real and it comes in waves. Staff and students will continue honoring Lillian by wearing their yellow all throughout the year. I'm also told the school was able to provide the family with a donation of over $4,000. Gerald. Well, it's great to see that family come together for that. I'm sorry, the community come together for that family. It's, it's a, a difficult time. Leslie Moreno live in Johnston County. Thank you, Leslie.